Hi, the lesson I'm teaching you today is math, and we are identifying, naming, and describing cones. But before we do that, I want to see if you can tell me what this shape is. Do you know what this shape is? Yeah, it's a sphere. Can you tell me something about the sphere? Yes, it is curved all over. I want to know, does it stack? No, it doesn't stack. Does it slide? Can you slide it? No, you can't slide it either. It just rolls. Yep, this is our sphere. What's this shape? Do you remember this shape? This shape is a cube. Very good. It's a cube. Now, can you tell me something about the cube? Yes, it can stack, it can slide, and anything else? It can stack and it slide. How many sides does it have? Do you remember? Yes, it has six sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. It has six sides. This is our cube. Today we are going to be working on the cone. It looks like an ice cream cone. Yummy. Yum, 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 yum. This is a cone. Can So in a cone, we can roll it. Oops, there it goes. It rolls because it is curved. And it can slide. But remember, the cone does not stack because it doesn't have two flat sides. It only has one flat side. See the flat side? Yeah, so it only has one, so it can't stack. Okay? You can't stack something on top of it because if you stack something on top of it, it just falls down. So that's why you can't stack it. So the cone in your um, packet, you have these pictures right here. Do you see the pictures? Can you cut those out? I'll give you a couple minutes. Okay, so once you are done cutting those out, I want you to sort them cone, not a cone. Cone, not a cone. So I'm going to do that now. While you're, you may still be cutting, that's okay. There you go. Am I right when I do that? Do we have the cone in the right spot? And then the rest of them are on this side. Good. You can glue them down if you want. If you don't want to, that's fine. And then we're going to um, draw. Um, can you draw the pictures of them? Do you remember the cone? Looks like an upside down V. And then it's, I say it's got a smiley face and it's got these lines right there. Oh, you can't see that very well, could you? Can you? Um, I'd probably just glue those other ones down. There it is. And then I want you to draw the other shapes on this side. I'm not going to draw those. I'm going to have you draw those yourself. I'm going to erase this because this is a student's work. Huh. Okay. I'm going to turn the page. So we're on number one, the apple. And we're looking at the cone and we're trying to see if it has a flat surface and or a curved surface. So what do you think? Does it have a flat surface? Remember what I said, it has how many flat surfaces? That's right, one, it has one flat surface. And then is it has, does it have a curved, oops, there you go. Does it have a curved surface? Yeah, so it has both of them. So I want you to circle both of those. Good. Now, here's number two. It's a check mark. And on number two, it wants you to look at this cone. It's a megaphone. But it looks like a cone, right? And I want you to write how many flat surfaces it has. Check mark means we do it by ourselves. How many flat surfaces does a cone have? Did you write one? Oh, you got it right then. 
Okay, then I'm going to turn it over to number three. And here is our um, shelving. So I want you to put an X on all the cones, just the cones. So are there any cones on this shelf? Put an X on it. How about this shelf? Put an X on it. Are there any on this shelf? Okay, let's see if you got it right. Did you put an X on this one? Good job. What about that one? Yes, that's a party hat. They look like cones. Are there any cones in this section? No, there's no cones in that section. All right, now we're going to turn it to the back. Now, I know this is a chapter checkpoint, but I want you to try to do this by yourself. So no help from mom and dad, okay, or whoever you're working with. For number one, I want you to put an X on the cylinder. Can you put an X on the cylinder? Good. You should have marked that one. This one, number two, I want you to color the sphere. Which one's the sphere? And for number three, I want you to color the cube. Which one's the cube? Good. And then on number four, I want you to match the real objects to the shapes down here. All right. I think you probably are done. If not, you keep working, okay? All right. I am going to do another lesson. Oh, yes. And I think I did these out of order, but that's all right. Um, I am going to do the cylinder next. Um, I'll probably put that in today's lesson instead of this one. So, all right. I'll see you later. Bye.